night to honor certainly one of the most successful entertainers of our time. Kathy Lee Johnson was there and greeted them. Everybody loves somebody sometime, but tonight here at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City, everybody loves Dean Martin. In a few moments, the Friars Club will honor him as their 1984 Man of the Year. We asked a few of his special friends why he was so special. Well, he's a wonderful actor. He has charisma, a marvelous personality, great hair, teeth. He's really an enchanting man. He's so soothing to be with. He's a beauty. He brings a kind of relaxation to this frantic rat race life that we all live. He is the inventor of the laid back man. You look at Dean. He's so cute. He's so adorable. Want to pinch those cheeks, huh? And if you pinch hard enough, the booze comes right out. Let me put it this way. If Dracula bit him in the neck, you get a Bloody Mary. <laughs> There's a lot of magic, too. I mean, I think I remember when I was when I was younger and I used to watch him in movies, and it was so exciting because he seems like he's had so much fun with his work. I don't know. I'm just a big fan. I'm an Italian kid from New Jersey. What do you expect? Dean Martin is my idol, you know? Dean Martin says you do the best impression of him of anybody. There are three sounds you have to latch onto and do Dean Martin. Ooh, ah, and oh. As in... Last night, and uh, as a matter of fact, I talked with the man of the year, the Friars man of the year, yesterday afternoon, Dean Martin, and we'll have part of that conversation later in the hour. 11 after 8, we'll be right back after this. Nine minutes before nine right now, Dean Martin, king of the celebrity roasters, was roasted himself last night by some of the biggest names in the business. The Friars Club honored him as its man of the year. Dean and I talked just before the big dinner. I asked him what this evening meant to him. It's really something. It's, it's an honor and it's a real pleasure because of all the other, you know, people they had. I mean, uh, Jimmy Stewart, you name all the big stars and then to include me. See, I, did, I never realized that I would be a man of the year. I still don't know why. <laughs> Have you asked them? No, I'm not going to ask. They may turn it down. <laughs> But last year, you went to England, and Princess Anne, you were honored in England? Yeah, she gave me a, a birthday. It was my birthday, June 7th. And uh, it was at the Variety Club, and she was there, right sitting right next to me. And we, she was a lot of fun to talk, talk with. I, they are schooled in there. They know that you're in awe of them. Uh. So they know how to hold a conversation. I was... I was more nervous sitting with her than I was when I was about to open the next night uh, on stage in, in London. What is that like for Dino Corsetti? Corsetti, is that? Corsetti, yeah. Steubenville, Ohio, all of a sudden to be sitting with Princess Don't Anne. Do you think I was thinking of that? I said, here I am, Dino from Ohio, Steubenville, Ohio, sitting next to Princess Anne, who was giving me a birthday party, you know. That's, that's unbelievable. Physically, how are you? You had an operation? You had a, what, an appendectomy back in... Yeah. Was, how are you? Are you? Oh, I'm fine. I've never been back. A week after my appendix, I was hitting golf balls. I understand that you don't like, what, elevators or heights or... Oh, no. I, I, had, I had claustrophobia. Oh. I did not like elevators. And I used to walk up, walk down. I used to do that in hotels. That's why I always stayed on the second or third floor, because I could not get into an elevator. But only two years ago, when I was at MGM working in Vegas, I made myself, I got in the back elevators in the kitchen, and I told everybody, this elevator I want to use for about four or five hours. So I got in it myself. I pushed buttons, made it stop, made the doors open, stayed in it. Put, I did that for up and down for about three hours. Then I said, I want to test myself. I got in an elevator with people. And... Uh, 
didn't bother me. They stopped at a floor, and I just stood there, and I got rid of it like that. Tell me about what happened would you, down at Atlantic City with the car dealing and the business with Sinatra. It's been all over the press about dealing blackjack, and uh, what happened? We sat down. I put down some money, and so did Barbara, Frank's wife, so did Frank. And the dealer dealt every card over. In other words, face up. Face up, and his one card closed under, of course. Because I used to deal, you know. For 11 years, I was a croupier. But when I saw all these cards open, I said, what is this? I, I want to pick up my two cards and just look at them, you know. I like to squeeze them and see what I have. For $500, I, I can look at them. And they say, don't touch the cards. You feel like a robot. I said, well, you tell me when to put my money down, and I'll, I'll go in, and you take it, or you pay me off. Let me know when I win or lose. What, am I an idiot? And that's what Frank was a little angry at, too. And uh, I was the one that was making all the noise, but they picked on Frank. I don't know why, but maybe they're just used to picking on Frank. He didn't say anything. All he did is, what he did say, he wanted the dealer to deal maybe one or two decks of cards. We didn't like the shoe, and in Vegas, we can go to any table we want, and you, you can play with the one deck. Believe me, what Frank has done and said, he is correct about it. They were wrong, entirely wrong. And, uh, I mean, there's, there's no more New Jersey for us. It's a tough thing to say, but that's the truth. We, uh, we didn't do anything wrong, but nobody backed us up. Now, uh, because it's a news story, the New Jersey Gaming Commission says that Frank Sinatra did become abusive when he asked that dealer not to use the black shack shoe. The commission also says that uh, Sinatra forced her to deal in a manner that was against New Jersey gambling rules. It's four minutes before nine. We'll be back after these words from General Foods. Next week, Sally Field, Billy D. Williams, Kate Capshaw, and Donna Summer.